Processing Sea Cucumbers, a training DVD for Pacific Island fishers, funded by the Australian Centre for International Agricultural Research. The market for dried sea cucumbers. In many Pacific Island countries, sea cucumbers have been collected by artisanal fishers for more than 100 years. Usually up to 10 to 20 different species are fished and exported from these small-scale fisheries. After being collected, they are cooked and dried into a form called bechtemer. The series of steps of gutting, cooking, salting, smoking and drying the sea cucumbers is called processing. Most of the exported sea cucumbers go to Chinese dried seafood markets. Sea cucumbers are luxury seafoods. In Asian stores, they sell at high prices. Asian consumers like dried sea cucumbers that are straight, without damage, have a dark color for certain species, a mild odor, and are not covered by salt. Once dried, the value of the bechtemer will depend on the species, the size of the product, and the quality of the processing. This DVD gives demonstrations on the best methods for processing your sea cucumbers into fully dried bechtemer for sale. Use the DVD in addition to your manual and go through your manual which will help you to understand the demonstrations. Responsible fishing practices. You should follow the regulations set in your country for harvesting and selling sea cucumbers. Collect only the large animals of a species. Leave the small ones to grow larger. Don't deplete your resources. Take only the number of sea cucumbers that you need. Handling practices. A lot of the value of your sea cucumbers can be lost simply by the way that you handle them in the boat. If they're not handled properly in the boat and they get damaged, then the value of the sea cucumbers in the end will be lower and you will lose money. If you can't process the sea cucumbers straight away when you get back from fishing, at least keep them in the shade out of the direct sun and with plenty of water in your bucket so that the sea cucumbers stay fresh and don't start to go off. And the Tenta Bene Bene are a, a, a type of tequila book that is much stronger and not as sensitive. The skin mm. isn't as sensitive. Yeah. But you should still keep it in water to keep it fresh mm. so it doesn't uh, go off. But there are some other types of tequila book, like this one, the Teca Nim Nim, Never that have a very fragile skin. And just on the way from the village to here, it started to get damaged skin. Mm. Like you really have to put them straight into water mm. and keep the water cool because the skin is very fragile. Sea cucumbers should be kept cool in seawater in the shade. Is it damaged from leaving in the, in the boat too long? Do not put them dry in the bottom of a boat or dry in a bag, which could damage the skin. Do not stack too many on top of one another. Process your sea cucumbers straight away when you come back from the sea. At least keep them in the seawater here 
overnight or until you can process them. It is best to gut and cook or cook and cut the sea cucumbers as soon as you return to the land so they do not spoil. Otherwise, keep them in cool seawater, in the shade and process them the next day. Cutting and gutting. The price that you get from your buyer depends on the quality of the processing, but also important is the cut. Make sure the cut is in the right place for the sea cucumber. And in general, a smaller cut or a couple small cuts for the large species is preferred to a very big cut. So this should be a small cut on these ones and not a very long cut. The sea cucumbers have a mouth with soft tentacles that faces down. Sand and fine food particles that it eats pass through its intestine and come out of its anus at the other end. The anus sometimes has five small yellow teeth. For white teat fish and black teat fish, cut along the upper side of the animal not all the way to the mouth and anus. Leave three finger widths before the mouth and anus. You can cut snakefish in two places on the underside of the animal. Make sure to remove all of the sand. For prickly redfish, amberfish and elephant trunkfish, make a straight, long cut on the underside of the animal. Leave three to four finger widths before the mouth and the anus. For blackfish and stonefish, you can first cook in warm to hot water, slowly raising the temperature. After they have cooked and cooled, make a small cut near the anus to remove the guts. Squeeze out water and guts. The surf redfish, cut in the same way, it's got a very big mouth. And there's the anus where the small teeth are, inch and a half. Put the tip, and then we're going to go through the anus and cut. And again, you need to put your finger in and get all of the sand and the guts. Cooking. For most purposes, you just need a medium-sized fire for cooking sea cucumbers so that the water does not heat up too quickly. The very soft sea cucumbers, namely leopardfish, brown sandfish and chalkfish, are best salted for one to two days after gutting instead of cooking them straight away. We will talk about salting in the next section. For other sea cucumbers, you can cook them first and then salt them for a couple of days. Some types of sea cucumbers can be cooked first to make a nice shape and then cut them. You can do that for white teat fish, black teat fish, amber fish, prickly redfish, blackfish, stonefish and surf redfish. Other species you can cut and gut them and then cook them. That can be done for lollyfish, pinkfish, snakefish, sandfish, greenfish, curryfish, and flowerfish. For the first cook, the safest way is to put the sea cucumbers in warm seawater. If you cannot easily hold your fingers in the water for three seconds, then it is too hot to put the sea cucumbers into. Putting them in warm water to start with will avoid the risk of them bursting or having the body curl up. If you cook them in water that is too hot, they may burst, which will lower their value. Use a medium fire to slowly heat the water to near boiling. Then cook for 10 to 15 minutes.
Stir the sea cucumbers every couple of minutes so that they all get cooked over the same time. For blackfish and stonefish, stir them constantly while cooking. These sea cucumbers are still too soft and not yet cooked. The sea cucumbers should be firm like a ball when cooked. You should be able to feel with your stirring stick when they become hard and are ready to take out. Take them out of the pot and let them cool down. After this first cooking, cut the sea cucumbers that have not been cut yet. Salting Salting means to leave the sea cucumbers in salt for one to three days. The salt will help it to dry out more because it's losing water at the start by putting it in the salt. That's as well why we, why we put these other ones in the salt. It will help it to lose water so that when you start to dry it, it doesn't have as much water to lose. We were told that the, the, fine, the fine salt is not as good as the coarse salt because the fine salt will penetrate, will go into the meat of the tequila book too fast and might damage the skin. So that's why they said use coarse salt if you can and we'll see if we can get the fishery officer here to uh, help you to source or to buy some of the coarse salt. There are two methods for salting. Wet salting is when the liquid from the sea cucumber stays and does not drain out of the container. Dry salting is when the liquid drains out of the salting box. You need to cover the sea cucumbers with salt and make sure they are not touching each other. Use a lot of it. For white teat fish and black teat fish, pack the inside of the animal with salt. We don't want to put it in the salt flat because there could be a bit of water that stays in. Instead, we angle it with the cut side facing down and the water can drain out of the ticket hook. Space them apart, then cover them with salt. Ask your local fishery officer for help to find out where to buy the right type of salt. Recooking. After salting the sea cucumbers, they should be cooked for leopard fish, brown sandfish, and chalkfish. This will mean cooking them for the first time. So use the method of putting them in warm water and bringing them slowly to near boiling. The other sea cucumbers cooking after salting will be their second cook. The temperature of the water when you put them in can be hotter than for the first cook, but not too hot. For this second cook, raise the temperature to near boiling or boiling and cook for 15 to 30 minutes, depending on the size of the animals. Again, stir them intermittently, say every couple minutes. After you take them out and cool them, they are ready to be smoked. Squeeze stonefish and blackfish to remove water. At this point, wedge a stick in the cut made on white teat fish and black teat fish to help dry out the inside of the body. Remove the round mouth parts with a knife. Smoke curing. 
All of the sea cucumbers can be smoked for one or two days, especially the soft-bodied ones, such as amberfish, prickly redfish, curryfish, and greenfish. Importantly, you should use a very small, smoldering fire to produce a little heat. You should be able to put your hand on the rack for five seconds without burning your hand. If it is too hot for your hand, then it is too hot for smoking the sea cucumbers. The cut's on the top, so when we first smoke it, we want that cut side to be facing down. Keep sea cucumbers well above the fire, so they do not get too hot. Smoking or drying the sea cucumbers too hot will make the salt come out of the flesh, so you will lose weight of your product. The Chinese uh, buyer in China, I asked some of the store owners that were selling the ticketable, and they said the buyers either want just a very mild smell with no smoke, or just a little smoky smell, but not a strong smoky smell. Turn the sea cucumbers a couple of times per day. Drying. Once the sea cucumbers have dried out from a bit of smoking, after one to two days, put them in the sun to dry. You can use direct sun on the beche de mer to dry them. Using a mesh table or racks will allow the underside to be aerated while drying. As with smoking, turn them a few times each day while they are drying and cover them or take them inside if it starts raining. After the bechtemer are 70 to 80% dried, you should cook them again to remove more of the water from the body and improve shape. This will be when the body is getting dry but you can still squeeze the body a bit. Repeating cooking and drying. This third cooking can be done in hotter water than before. This cooking is done for 5 to 10 minutes, depending on the size and quantity of the beche de mer. After this cooking step, Dry them out straight into the sun without the smoking step. This time, put smaller sticks into the white teat fish and black teat fish. And it gets dried in the sun until it's almost dried. And then you take the stick out and the last few days it will close up and look like this one. Salt residue on the beach demo will leave them with a whitish appearance, which is not desirable and may lower the price. If there is some salt residue, wash them briskly in fresh water for a minute or two, then dry to fully dry. Storage The beche de mer should be fully dried before storing them. This means they should be as hard as wood. So once your sea cucumber is fully dry, then you can store it in one of these plastic bags in a dry place until you have enough to sell to your buyer. Selling the product. 
If you have processed the sea cucumbers well and they look undamaged and are fully dried, and cut in the right place, your buyer should give you a high price. This price also depends on the size of the animals. You should be able to get a higher price from the large sea cucumbers than the small ones. We hope that you will benefit from the DVD and the demonstrations that we've provided. So good luck with your processing.